What up? How's it going? Hey, so that last episode was interesting. You know why? It was all based on family. All based on family, while at the same time, it was sort of this uh, hovering thing of the mob in the background, right? What I mean by that is, imagine going someplace and you see a rat that took a bunch of your guys under while you're out there with your daughter doing what she has to do. But you saw what took what took hold, right? Like he dropped her off. It was like, hey, I got to go handle some business. Okay. Then you also have the thing with the priest and his wife. <laughs> that shit's hilarious because she flipped it on him. She flipped it on Tony, didn't she? And that's a, that's a cold ass woman. She going to tell him, hey, the priest was here. I just ain't want you to think nothing happened. Knowing damn well she wanted something to happen. <laughs> she wanted that uh, collar to be sweaty than a motherfucker. <laughs> And she gonna tell him, and he be like, uh, and then, oh, your doctor called. Yeah, my doctor called, yeah, and? He had to, he had to chase after her, though, because he did lie about it. But, hey, let's go ahead and get this uh, next episode started. The Soprano. Johnny, what else? Look, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be looking for here. What's up with this coos? It's none of your fucking business. Coos. On a strict need to know, Lieutenant. You know how old that word is? knock the shit out of you for what you did to a date last month. Boy, his... Jackie, this guy still come wrinkled. around? No, it's not her type. I told you he's a coward. He nearly pissed himself. Here, buy yourself an iron. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and it looks even worse now because this shit is in full HD. What's going on? My wife. All we do is fight. Can you believe it? She's jealous of you. She didn't know you were a girl. Excuse me, a doctor. Yeah, pay Woman homage. Doctor. Pay homage. You spilled the beans when you called to change the appointment. Kuzumano gave me a choice between two Jewish guys and a paisan like me. So I picked a paisan. What's the one thing every woman, <laughs> your mother, your wife, your daughter have in common? They're all Italian, so what? Maybe by coming clean with me, you're dialoguing with them. Why do you have me as a patient? You know who he is. Most legit people I know, they'd go 100 miles out of their way not to make eye contact with me. Right, right, that's an and interesting you. question. Yeah, I actually want to hear this. You didn't flinch. How's Junior? That's how Junior is. Sammy. You paying Jimmy for this game? Huh, Sammy? Are you paying someone for this game? Mm, he didn't ask permission. Huh? Junior Soprano is the new boss, and he ain't respecting old arrangements. <laughs> you wearing a suit to the dinner, eh? <laughs> These guys today, they want to be buried on a jogging outfit. <laughs> oh, 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 what are we what are we talking about here? You lost your grandson. What are you gonna do with these? Fucking animals, these these no, no. drug dealers. The little kid used to run around here breaking balls. I read the paper every day about these poor pricks overdosing. Didn't overdose, he killed himself. Fourteen years old. Jesus. The kid, he took one of those uh, designer drugs, right? Goes through the falls, takes a header right off the fence. And he said the the, oh, the current stop world saying so it in much front of him. his head was bashing on the rocks for days God before he became up. Damn. Up. <laughs> God damn, nigga, like. <laughs> He, he gets to walk the streets and sell more of this stuff to young kids. Oh, shit. Oh, really? Oh, shit. What's this motherless fuck's name? How's your Jewish friend? Hesh? What about him? Who ever heard of a Jew riding horses? He owns a horse farm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's Tony's friend, not mine. <laughs> Who ever heard of a Jew riding horses? <laughs> Johnny liked him. And my son thinks every word that comes out of his mouth is pure gold. Are you telling me that since I'm the new boss, I should tax hash? Oh. Oh, I didn't <laughs> think. I didn't think it would keep going like this. I'm thinking, well, he's the Don. He's not going to keep going there and basically taking tips from her and getting these little winks and permissions and nudges and nod, nods. What the fuck? Boy, Anthony must have really gotten under your collar. Admit it. I, I don't know what you're talking about. So how's your job? What? Just wonder if you care about my job. Can I be nice? <laughs> right? Hey, there's Come nothing here. wrong with me. Just wanted to talk, that's all. All the conversation I get around here might as well be a fucking dildo. If you were a dildo, we wouldn't be fighting. Are you fucking refugee? What does that mean? Yo, what the fuck? You're That's gonna turn them off. <laughs> oh, the hey, communist hey, hey. <laughs> A refugee and a communist. 
<laughs> this episode is crazy. <laughs> Jump in, water's warm. Child Did they draw them ready. tattoos on with Sharpie? Them shits sorry. look fake in the motherfucker. <laughs> they may be his real tattoos, but they look terrible. Your father was a fair man, Tony. What's that got to do with Junior? Junior's not so fair. Right. Did you tell him you operated for years without any tax? That my father loved you and respected you? That 10 cents out of every dollar that goes into his kick is directly related to your Shylock business? My uncle's in boss of the family 10 fucking minutes already, I got Ajita. It's a reasonable request, but an unreasonable figure. Oh, back up a minute. What do you mean it's a reasonable request? He can call the tune we all dance to it. Right. It's the way it's always been done. I don't know if I can stay in this area. Oh, yeah? Where are you going to go? Idaho. Hey, come on, Tatala. I can sit on my royalty checks. You forget I wrote six gold records. No, a couple of black kids wrote six gold records. You own the company. You gave yourself a co-writing credit. Come on, Hitchie. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, liked, I liked that whole interaction. That was fire. Do me a favor. Sit tight for now. Let me think about it for a while. I like how honest and open them two's relationship was right there. I'll, I'll get into that more in the review. It was just an open, honest conversation. It wasn't him just like, hey, I don't, I shouldn't have to pay anything. He's like, nah, he the boss. That's how it goes. Come here. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that she had the accent of, yeah, his, okay. of his whole. Like, <laughs> what about you, son? What do you want New York to do? First of all, Junior can't know that we talked. He's got to think that Hesh came to you on his own by himself. You are still running things. Hesh has got to pay something. I just haven't decided what. I gotta get back. We'll talk later. How's the veal? It's like rubber. Happy anniversary to you. Compliments of Johnny Sack. Maybe you'd like to spend the rest of our anniversary with him. I was over there for 10 friggin' minutes, Carmilla. Don't do this. At least I know where I stand. Why are you always gonna be so dramatic, huh? Well, here we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? Yeah, of course. I'm sorry. You don't even know what you're apologizing for. Of course he doesn't. It's our anniversary, Tony. Ours. Not yours, mine, and Johnny fucking Sack. I'm sorry, Carmilla. She's got a lot on my mind, and I'm not thinking straight. Should I call the plaza? Yeah, let's go home. Come on, what do you want me to say? You've changed, Tony, and I resent it. Has he changed? I resent it because it's destroying what little self-esteem I have left. What are you talking about? You're the mother of my children. How the fuck can I skeeve you? You see? You see what I'm talking about right there? You're the mother of my children. I feel like I'm just someone you've chosen to procreate with. You knew this might happen with the Prozac. Ginny Torelli has been on it for years, and she'd hump a fire hydrant if it could make a pass at her. Hey, Dr. Melfi told me it affects different people different ways. Oh. She told you that? Oh. <laughs> it's not appropriate of me to take gifts. It's a cup of coffee. Let's just make a rule, okay? No gifts. What does that mean, diagnostic? I just want to know what's wrong with my car. No, don't do anything. As a matter of fact, I think I, I may flush the medication, you know? It might be working a little overtime. I'm having a... Uh, Reaction? You know, a side effect. Some people experience a diminished libido. There we go. They have a... Hard time <clears throat> getting or maintaining. Or not a hard time. I see. You know, <laughs> not all impotence is a result of the medication. When's the last time you had a prostate exam? Oh. Hey, I don't even let anybody wag their finger in my face. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have left. <laughs> oh, Dr. Melfi. Don't apologize. It's going down. Oh, boy. Got a nice laugh. All right, let's be serious. You know that depression is also a leading factor in impotence. All due respect to New York, I don't think you should be telling my uncle how to run things. You think I got the balls to drive in from New York and tell your uncle how we should run his family? I shouldn't expect to see the Statue of Liberty again if I did that. Huh? And you, frankly, I'm a little hurt. You should have come to me first. And when you're <laughs> dirty, you in public. Band. Junior knew how I felt. 500 is a little steep for back taxes, no? As far as 2% of his action, that, that's up to you to settle. God forbid I get in the way of someone earning. I'd say one and a half on a shy business and 300 on a back tax. 250. What I tell you, hold on to your cock when you negotiate with these desert people. <laughs> Mr. Soprano. You want sex? No. She's like, oh man. Go back to sleep. Yeah, you reveal too much. No, when you're not with me, you do what you want. But I'm saying maybe you could wear a nice business-like outfit. 
I think I could get into that. <laughs> he wants you to dress like his doctor. You know, like you're in business. Oh, fuck you, Tony. I'm no whore. No. That's not what I mean. Yeah, not he don't like mean a pro. A business. He means an actual professional. Look at this. She burned me. Camilla can be pretty violent sometimes. So I suggest to her that maybe she dress a little different. Something titillating. But Carmela can be very sensitive. Not all women are into sexy lingerie. I'm not talking about dressing like that. Then what are we talking about? Like you. Some women are sexier when they, they dress simple. Like you. How like me? You play it down. It's obvious you gotta kill a body under there. But you're gentle. Not loud. Sweet sounding. Like a mandolin. Anthony. Oh, dream. Okay. Oh, no, not. It's unfortunate that we have to stop now because I think it's really important we talk about this. Do you think you could come back later this afternoon? No. Till Tuesday. Had I not seen other dreams, I would have just assumed, hey, that was real. He did that. I'd be like, oh, okay. But because there was other dreams uh, uh, before this, I thought, okay, it's another dream. So now that he's done it, the way she is, she don't respond to anything, right? She's a true professional when it comes to this. She makes sure not to respond. Anything he does, like even how she handled that right there, that was mad gentle. That man got his light still on his vehicle. Like you could clearly see it's a cop. I was told I need a new starter. Ladies, as much as I might wish to rob you, even I wouldn't try to replace a new starter with another. What do you mean new? New? Oh. It has everything but the price tag hanging from it. When I go on show, if you could fly, I will shoot you down, Bill. <laughs> bitch. What if I got his 40? Like, I ain't see shit. What happened here? Not a dead. What? What you talking about? I see shit. I said shit. The motherfucker said he won't live no more. Oh, they got him all there. I thought I was the only one Junior could make look like that. <laughs> Junior, like, hey, y'all gotta break me off some bread. The motherfuckers is tight. That chunky fuck was my biggest earner. During the football season, he moved more cards than 10 guys put together. Certain friend of ours should have checked with me before he did a favor for the old man Capri. I mean, when Jackie was acting boss, no one minded because it all evened out at the end of the day. But your uncle, my own. What about that Sammy Grigio card game? Come on, Jimmy. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. That game wasn't paying anybody. What do you want me to do? Hey, we made our bed, we sleep, and we're all men. But how long are we going to continue to kick upstairs without it hurting? I mean, something, anything should trickle down over here, no?